and welcome along to World of Tanks with the new player. The new player is me, Jeebus, the two birds, Grizz, and a Rudy. And today, in the third replay this week, it's me fighting in my T-43 in a reasonable matchup. Uh, there's only a couple of tier 8s on each team. Um, I'm solidly mid-tier and most of my team are reasonable players. Um, I guess we've got stronger lower tier players than higher tier for the most part, um, but the opposition are uh, just fairly average altogether. Um, T43 is a tank that when I first had it I didn't have a lot of success in. I actually originally enjoyed the KB-13 or KB-13 a little bit better, um, but I caught it again recently, I can't remember exactly why. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Still have a cold somehow. Um, <laughs> I got it, I think, because I needed to have a, T, uh, a medium at tier 7 to fight with somebody else, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, but actually since I got it back anyway, uh, I've been enjoying it a lot more. Um, I seem to, I guess, have a better handle on how to play the game in general, um, but certainly a better handle on how to play this tank as well. So this tank is, um, I guess, kind of think of it like a T-3485 with... Uh, better armor maybe, but not it's not super great. Um, uh, definitely a better gun, uh, and it's, it's maneuverable, it's fast enough, um, and it's a good one to kind of get into forward spotting and support positions. Um, I don't think you'd want to snipe so much with it, but you probably could. Um, and I'm just ripping apart this Hellcat here. Unfortunately, that did hit, but didn't finish him. So I find this a pretty important position on this map, um, if you can get here quickly to get um, vision on anything coming forward it helps the rest of your support get forward. Um, and then just oh, another unfortunate bounce, you just got to try and get forward and, and do the sort of damage you can. And that VK is just doesn't have the DPM to contend with me really, um, and all the other hits he's getting. So, so far I've picked up 700 odd damage in a couple of minutes, no kills yet, um, but I've done good support for the team, and the team's really swinging pretty well at the moment, 3-2, still have their best player to go, um, but what I realise at this point is I need to push forward, um, I don't have the gun depression to work straight over these ridges, um, which hopefully I'll realise soon enough. Uh, and Instead, what I should be doing is using the mobility of this tank to try and flank around. Now, popping out here and saying hello to a Rimborsic is not a smart idea. Which is almost as bad as doing what I'm doing right here. So I actually realised too late at this time around that this was dumb. But fortunately, I didn't take a huge amount of damage at that point. But basically, if I'd stayed up there for too long, the Borsa could have smashed me. Anything below me could have smashed me really, and it would have been a tragedy. It would have been um, a very average result um, for a T7 battle, only 713 damage, which is well below hit points of the tank, no kills. I sometimes use um, auto aim like that to do the sort of snapshots. I find it um, maybe a bit hard to concentrate on driving and shooting at the same time and making sure that the gun's pointing the right way, and if I try and do it manually, I, um, I often sort of fire early, that VK was trying to flank me, I managed to track him, I think I could probably perma-track him, but somebody else hits him as well, and I just pick up the kill with a tiny little bit of damage. The big threat on this flank now is the Borsig in front of me and the 112, so that's got to be where we focus our fire. 112's been kind enough to give me his side, um, I suspect he doesn't have much choice now, he's tracked and surrounded, no not tracked, just surrounded. Their team is doing the right thing, they're trying to put pressure on our flanks, but um, I've been able to shut them down both times they've tried so far. And if I can get a kill on a Borsig, I always love to. Oh, but I managed to take a big hit from the 112. Uh, set the Borsig on fire to get the kill. And just continue to harvest hit points and damage from the 112. I realise I'm not going to be able to get to him before uh, the others on my team 
Um, well, at least I thought I wasn't going to be able to. Turns out I probably could have stayed there a bit. Um, now, I'm counting shells here. I believe the autoloader in it has three shells, so I took three. And looking at the amount of damage, I can take another three without dying. There's two of them. There's the third, and then I can just get the kill. Um, if we had been up a level 3, it probably wouldn't have been a good trade to do that. But, um, because we were winning, clearly, uh, it would be a disaster if we managed to lose from here. It, I just figured it was worth doing. Um, so now, what are we, we're up, sort of closing in on 6 minutes in, 2,500 damage, 3 kills. I was pretty stoked with the result so far, so I figured what I'd do is I'd just go and spot what remained. I guess I've still got... Um, slim chance of picking up a top gun here, but um, it's probably unlikely. Um, but somewhere in here, there is an artillery piece who's very well hidden who spotted me. Probably in that bush straight in front. I guess we're the one just behind the ridge after it. There we go, just behind the ridge. Is that a low roll? Possibly a bit of a low roll. There goes my chance of a top gun. Um, but I do pick up a fourth kill, closing in on 2,750 damage now almost, which is a really, really good result. And all that remains now is the SU-12244, which, um, I have, well, I'm a one-shot for pretty much anything, and is a long way away from me, so I'm going to try sniping. But as you can see, the shells dropped quite short there. There wasn't much chance of hitting there. Managed to sneak another one in there, but now he drops below the ridge, so I'm just going to go try and pick up some cat points while we wait. 2,878 damage now. So this medium tank is, I think, a little bit underrated maybe at, at tier 7. It, for me, um, I just find that the DPM on it is really good. Um, and a miracle shot to pick up the fifth kill. DPM is really good, and its resiliency is pretty good too. So looking at the post-game stats, a high calibre and a steel wall, I think, um, which is probably from something small shooting at me. Uh, it's a decent silver and experience that'll be, obviously, with um, times twos and whatnot. Just looking at the team damage, I'm well above anything else on my team, and only the SU-12244 really gets close to me on the enemy as well, um, which is not to be su sort of surprised, really. The SU-12244 has got great DPM. Um, and looking at the XP there, 1447 base, pretty happy with that. Um, that's uh, it's one of the better games, I think it was a mastery. Um, there was a bit of a vent XP for the crew there, so they're coming along nicely. But I don't have a particularly good crew in here, it's just a, a reasonable crew. Um, but look at that, I mean, I fired almost all of my AP shells and the, the ammunition loadout was still not that great, so... Um, really chuffed with the result. Uh, there you go, everybody. If you didn't know, T-43 is actually not a bad tank. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on the next replay.